Dean uh, Kawai, um, Vice President Mohani, um, Your Excellency's Diplomatic Corps, distinguished uh, delegates, um, the Forum Secretariat um, uh, appreciates very much the, its participation uh, in this uh, discussion round table, um, and more so for the <clears throat> opportunity for me to register a Pacific uh, perspective. Spectacular uh, development and growth rates uh, in the past decade or so has earned for Asia a key role in the world economy and uh, rightly so, acknowledgement as the most dynamic economic region of the world today. But uh, it is for observation that the benefits of expansion and uh, growth have not been uh, shared equally, and uh, that the Asia-Pacific region uh, at large uh, faces significant uh, risks um, in mounting in inequities and disparities, um, risks in the competition for scarce and depleting nat national, uh, natural resources, and uh, like everyone else, uh, trying to cope uh, with global warming and climate change. The Pacific subregion has uh, not enjoyed the same uh, growth advancement in national economies. Uh, rather, growth has been weak and variable. Uh, although we heard from uh, Dr. Ree that uh, the Pacific are expected to do a little bit better uh, this year. And Pacific countries are being confronted by the same uh, risks and challenges as the wider Asia Pacific region. At the same time, uh, growth in Asia is presenting Pacific countries with a, a whole range of opportunities which, uh, with emerging trade and investment linkages and uh, with improved cooperation and integration, offers every uh, prospect uh, for the Pacific to learn from the Asian experience. The I think you know all this. The Asia Pacific, uh, the the Pacific subregion is a grouping of cultural, culturally diverse and geographically dispersed countries in mid-ocean countries, which are at varying stages of economic development. Uh, with the developed economies of Australia and New Zealand and 14 small island developing countries, um, some being least developed economies. Together, the 16 countries from the Pacific Islands Forum, uh, uh, they have formed the Pacific Islands Forum, the premier uh, organization of the sub-region. Almost all of these countries are members of the Asian Development Bank. Pacific countries um, have a, a very long history of working together. Uh, togetherness is the natural instinct. Sharing the common features of remoteness, and smallness in size and capacities, uh, limited resources, aid dependency, and acute vulnerability to climate change and uh, global economic shocks. The subregion has sought uh, to develop regional uh, cooperation and uh, integration uh, to find solutions to major global forces. Uh, within the sub-region, uh, there is also uh, very major uh, challenges of serious underperformance on gender issues, and also as serious the effect of non-communicable diseases on all Pacific communities, and therefore uh, their prospects of dealing with sustainable development. The Pacific Plan uh, has been devised by leaders 
and is the core framework of Pacific regionalism. Developed in 2005, the Pacific Plan is the master strategy for regional cooperation and integration. Regionalism under the Pacific Plan does not imply any limitation on national sovereignty. Rather, it's a plan that offers flexibility and practical realism in regional cooperation. It is not intended to replace any national programs, but seeks to support and complement them. The policy objectives of the Pacific Plan are to enhance economic growth, sustainable development, good governance, and regional security. Implementation is carried out by a system of Pacific regional organizations developed over the years under the coordination of my Secretariat and with the engagement and support of all forum member countries, civil society, private sector organizations, and development partners and other stakeholders. The Pacific Plan is currently under comprehensive review by a team of experts led by an eminent person, uh, Sir Nikari Morata, former Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea. The review will provide a revised assessment of the experience of regional cooperation and integration efforts in the Pacific subregion. Regional and international organizations have a significant role to play in the process for regionalism and regional cooperation. In the Pacific, there are nine separate regional organizations dealing with specific mandates and uh, specializations from education, health, fisheries, tourism, aviation, and so on. Uh, together uh, making up the Council of Regional uh, Organizations in the Pacific. Individually and collectively they function to serve forum member countries to achieve the common aspirations and objectives of the Pacific Plan. In many respects, because of their support to governments and provision of high quality technical and policy services, the regional organizations have become natural extensions of the national capacity of member governments and thus able to assist governments in broadening economic opportunities. In my official role, my office is the permanent chair of the Regional Organizations Council and I am responsible for the coordination and the function of regional organizations in their Pacific Plan implementation and more importantly, at the annual reporting to Pacific leaders. With multiple organizations operating, operating in the region and amongst member governments, there is inevitably fragmentation with problems of overlap and duplication. And effective coordination has become essential to ensure efficiency and coherence. There is particular need to ensure clear and effective cooperation with the sub-region's key development partners, in particular uh, the Asian Development Bank and other multilateral banks, uh, the United Nations uh, organizations and the European Union all of which undertake major project activities in areas covered under the Pacific Plan. On our part, all effort is being made to encourage and ensure coherence and alignment of partner programs and those being undertaken by our regional organizations. We are grateful for the ready cooperation and support being uh, provided by all of our development partners. We note that the ADB is currently reviewing its specific approach, which makes provision for alignment between the Pacific Plan and ADB's long-term strategic framework uh, for the period 2008 to 2020. Foreign aid to the Pacific, uh, Pacific subregion is significant, and it is necessary. 
and it is essential in supplementing the overall financial, capital, and human resources devoted to the achievement of the goals of the Pacific Plan. Pacific uh, resources devoted to uh, uh, rather Pacific countries have recognized this as a rather critical area and since 2009 through the Forum Compact uh, on Strengthening Developed Coordination have sought to establish practical approaches to ensure inflows of aid are well managed, accounted for and utilized all in accordance with international standards and aid effectiveness principles with Paris, Accra, and more recently, Busan. Implementation of the Forum Compact is attracting good cooperation between Pacific countries and development partners in the peer reviews of national development plans and on assessing aid effectiveness coordination to enhance its role in the development process. Regional trade in Forum Island countries uh, gained very early momentum uh, through the South Pacific Regional Trade and Economic Cooperation Agreement with Australia and New Zealand. With changing global landscape on trade agreements, uh, countries have sought to strengthen the intra-Forum Islands trade capacity via the, what we call the Pacific Islands Country Trade Agreement or, or PICTA. This also served as a precursor to negotiating the trade agreements with developed regional countries such as Australia and New Zealand. And we have a base of trade framework currently under negotiations as well as regional blocs such as the European Union under the European Partnership Agreement also under negotiation uh, with that group. These trade experiences will position Forum Island countries to consider developing formal trade and economic linkages with Asian economies. The intra-regional trade agreement has also uh, provided stylized capacity building and support to Forum Island uh, countries based on their specific needs and abilities. This has been largely initiated through the Pacific Aid for Trade Strategy, an important regional public service that is currently provided to Pacific Island's private sector is through the joint promotions by the Pacific Islands Trade and Invest Network of Offices located in Auckland, Beijing, Sydney, Tokyo, and a desk capacity in Geneva. Through this network, we are facilitating trade investment between Asia and the Pacific subregion. The close institutional cooperation between the Council of Regional Organizations in the Pacific has delivered notable gains for the regional transport and infrastructure development, and so that the Forum Island countries have established regional frameworks for transport services, energy security, and ICT development. The Secretary of the Pacific Community, a leading technical organization in the subregion, provides leadership, coordination, and policy guidance in these areas. These initiatives address specific disadvantages for island economies and seek to place them in a better position to support regional trade integration and broader sustainable economic development. The ADB has played an important role in supporting infrastructure development in the Pacific. These are opportunities for Asia service providers to support the Pacific in these sorts of areas. In recent times, Pacific leaders have focused on the threat and the dangers posed by climate change, and more particularly the need for Pacific countries to have improved access to and management of global climate change resources. The Forum Secretariat, in collaboration with member countries, regional organizations, and development partners, 
is exploring a range of modalities and approaches which might assist in more effectively harnessing uh, these global resources. More importantly, a case study now uh, being finalized uh, in Nauru uh, is uh, to um, extract lessons on how the Pacific could pursue the challenge of accessing climate change funds to help build uh, country response mechanisms and their resilience. The lessons from the Asian economies themselves in coping or trying to cope with the challenge of climate change could assist uh, our sub-region in many ways, I'm sure. The experience um, of forum countries in Pacific regionalism over the past 40 years or more points to the inevitability of togetherness. The forum has proven to be an effective avenue for small island states to amplify their voices and aspirations. However, despite these accomplishments, the forum has been hampered by lack of capacity, the complicated interaction between national interests and regional benefits, and the slow process of developing consensus through regional negotiations. The best approach may well be, in some instances, uh, through sub-regional or a group of a few countries to deliver a service that responds to their specific needs. As we proceed in the second decade of this century, I do not see any weakening of the interest of Pacific leaders in their quest for regional cooperation and integration. The shift of axis of economic power to Asia and its dominance is doing much to demolish the tyranny of distance and uh, isolation for those of us in the Pacific. The advent in technology leading to massive growth in satellite, submarine cabling, and mobile telephony across the Pacific is helping to integrate the sub-region. This new closeness brings opportunities. Political security and social changes are bringing the case of closer economic cooperation to the forefront. The current review of the Pacific Plan will enable a reflection of the new international dynamics and the realities of people, goods, and services that are increasingly moving within and outside the region. The Pacific Island countries could benefit from the experiences of countries uh, in the Asia, in Asia, one can think of the experience of the Philippines and Sri Lanka, for example, to empower our countries in the Pacific in crafting appropriate modalities for labor mobility schemes in the context of South-South cooperation. Asia is just next door to the Pacific sub-region. Ultimately, Pacific Island countries as members of the Asia-Pacific region need to find uh, their niche and take their place in the Asia century. Thank you very much for listening.